always wins. What is up, guys? Gimmer the Video Game Scientist from VG Bootcamp here. Uh, this past weekend was Super Smash Con. At Smash Con, we had the Smashies, which was the award show. I was presented at the Sakurai Award. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a community leadership award. Uh, and here's how it went down. So uh, for the next award, I actually don't really think I'm the best guy to present it. So we're going to do something a little different to present Super Smash Con 2019 Smashies Sakurai Award. Please welcome to the stage PG Swar and Justin, the founder of Super Smash Con. Good evening. Thank you all for coming. This is the third annual Smashies. We're proud to present the Sakurai Award, which we started last year. And today, we're gonna give the second one. This person, you all know him. Everybody from every Smash community has been able to thank and be witness to this person's archiving ability, keeping the history of the Smash universe all online giving us so many vods to watch giving us so much content to consume if everything went away tomorrow we wouldn't know where we were just a year ago even 10. if anything one time it almost just turned into a full set of surge versus darkfall the sakurai award encompasses com contributions and lifetime achievements to the smash community and embodies selflessness kindness and above all just giving as much as you can to everyone in the community. Today, the GIMS always wins the Sakurai Award for the third annual Smash Con. Smashies goes to Gimmer! I guess I'm supposed to make a speech right now. All right, I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. Uh, so 10 years ago, me and my brother Matthew were super broke college students, uh, sitting in our house, barely paying rent. And we said, what do we need to do to make the Smash scene huge? This is before esports. I think the only thing was Brood War, probably, at the time. And we said, I know, if you made guides to make it easier to get into Smash, then more people would get into Smash. So let's make a company called Video Game Boot Camp. So he scratched the logo down on a piece of paper. I brought it into Photoshop on my, like, 2002 Dell Mac, Dell laptop. And we made it happen. But then we realized the way to make Smash big is to start streaming. Now, this is before Twitch. So we used Ustream, we used Justin TV, owned 3D. We went through all of them. And after five years of hard work, and uh, before YouTube even had ad revenue, uh, we finally made it. Uh, there's a lot of people, a lot of people who helped us get here. You know who you are. If I start listing it off, I'm gonna forget somebody, but you know who you are. You guys know who you are, and I appreciate it very much. That being said, I actually wanna dedicate this award to my brother, Apostle. He's the other half. He's the other half of VG Bootcamp, but he definitely does not get half the credit, and he deserves a lot more. He's been doing this full time with me, for five years, a lot of what you see going to emotion is his idea. He's a lot more business savvy than I am. He helps a lot. You should all go 
Give him shout outs on Twitter. He's actually in the air right now. He's on an airplane. If he landed to all your guys' love, I bet it would mean the world to him. So his Twitter, listen very closely, is at VGBC underscore A-P-O-S-L. That's VGBC underscore A-P-O-S-L. Show him love. He really deserves it. Thank you. And one last thing, one last thing. I just want to say, we've gotten this far in 10 years. It's all about community. I know a lot of people make esports jokes, but we are not esports. Every single person here, production, TO, everybody is someone that started inside the community. And I truly believe if we keep going, Smash and FGC will be the biggest esport in the world. Thank you. Okay, I, I promised I wouldn't do this again, but I gotta do it one more time. Guys, just, so Gimmer, also known as Calvin, has been uh, one of my best friends in the scene for about a decade now. Uh, dude ran my first tournament that I ever went to in Laurel, Maryland, about an hour away. Uh, just an incredible guy. Him and Matt uh, Apostle, who's actually in Japan right now, with some of his friends, hope he's watching, but I think the time difference is too great. Can I get one more round of applause for the VGBC boys? Gimmer and Apostle. The reason I'm uploading this is because I think a lot of you guys only know me as the video game scientist finding tech. For those of you who don't know, uh, I actually got first known in the Smash community for my tech videos like Peach's Bear Trap, Bowser's Chain Grab, Aerial Releases, some Ice Climber stuff and Brawl. And uh, me and my brother, like I said in the video already, we wanted to make a company that could actually make it easier for people to get into Smash uh, Video Game Bootcamp. We wanted to make guides, but then we realized streaming was the future for going Smash. So that's what we've been focusing on for the last 10 years. Uh, there's three main reasons Smash blew up. The Evo Drive, which got Melee there, the Smash Dock, and then VG Bootcamp, as well as combined all the events and combined all the players. Like Those are like basically the five things, but if you take away the Evo Drive, uh, if you take away the Smash Talk, or if you take away VG Bootcamp, there's a very strong chance Smash wouldn't have blown up nearly as big as it did today. You don't know, but there's a very strong possibility, um, and that's why uh, I was given the award. Uh, I dedicated it to Apostle, obviously, because I just get the credit for everything we've done, and I want to see him get more credit, so go show him some love, even though this is like a week later. Like I said in the video, the main reason we made VG Bootcamp was to make a website for guides and stuff, and we're actually finally on that path. We finally got the resources together to start working on that. But instead of calling it videogamebootcamp.com, we've decided to call it gamerslab.com because when it comes to tech right now in Smash, I'm the most known person and it makes sense to brand it after me. Uh, it also makes it more personable because you guys know that I'm personally working on it. Uh, so the website's not going to be up for a while, but you can claim your username now at gamerslab.com. I hope you don't crash it. I'm a pretty much a noob to websites. Uh, definitely let me know on Twitter if you think I messed anything up. But uh, I think we did a pretty good job getting it where it is today. I had my, my web admin said it was good, so check it out, gamerslab.com. We're going to have the best frame data ever, like more than just frame data. We're going to have guides. We're going to have training games to actually... So you can train on the go, whether it be a reaction time or whatever. I'm actually working on a game that uh, automatically pushes your brain into flow state. Uh, I actually think I figured out a way to make that happen, which is really cool, because then instead of practicing for three hours for an event to get into the zone, you might be able to practice for 10 minutes and get into the zone. Um, and some other stuff, and eventually I want to branch out of Smash. I want to go to FTC, and then after FTC, I want to go to everything else. I want to make an amazing place that just helps people get better faster because like, like it's impossible not to get gatekeeped in competitive gaming it's so hard to get good at anything there's no like just follow these 10 steps to be decent it's like just a bunch of clickbait youtube videos with like guides for certain things and i want to make courses and stuff to like for each competitive esport to just help people get past that bar because for every other sport 
you know, you have in high school, whatever, college, there's actually people who are experienced that teach these kids the basics and what order to go in, and we just don't have that in esports, and I want to make that. It's always been my dream. It's 10 years ago when I started making guides. I just really want to make, like, you guys don't understand, like, like I, I used to make sprite animations. I'd spend hours taking sprites and putting them into a file and making the animations and then giving that file to other people so that they now had what they needed uh, to make sprite animations so they wouldn't have to start from scratch like I did. I just, I've always been that way. I always, I mean, maybe eventually I'll make a website for like Adobe tutorials and stuff in the same line. Like I really just want to make learning overall in the world easier and better. But since I'm big into gaming, I'm going to start with Smash. Uh, and I've rambled a little bit. If you ever filled out my research form, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take that and kind of shift it over to the website. Like, you guys help me gather data, gather videos and stuff to just make this website as awesome as possible, to make it as easy as possible to learn, and if you're a pro, a good resource to get the information that you want. Anyways, I'm busy, I guess. Glitch is coming out, so I got stuff to do, so it's back to the lab with me. Shoutouts to everyone for the support and the Sakurai Award. I'll see you guys next time. to the lab again.